Hi, my name is Petrus Nell and I will be sharing with you some ideas as to how do you link your research question with an appropriate research design and then eventually use appropriate statistical techniques to analyze your results to answer your different research questions. Research has four aims. Research would like to describe what is happening. Research would also like to explain why something is happening. A third aim of research is to predict when something is likely to happen. And finally, research would like to improve something, to intervene. So if you've got a research question that is descriptive in nature, you will focus on questions like, what are the differences between males and females? You would like to describe those differences. Maybe you're interested in describing why is there a relationship between job satisfaction and commitment. You would like to describe that particular relationship. So research questions that are descriptive in nature tries to answer the question, what is happening? If you have a research question that is explanatory in nature, then you try and answer questions related to why something is happening. Example, you would like to know why certain variables predict an employee's levels of job satisfaction. Answering the question of why something is happening relates to explanation. The third aim of research deals with prediction. Okay. So when your research study is predictive in nature, you would like to predict when something is likely to happen. So maybe you're interested in understanding um, what are some of the predictors of job satisfaction. Hence you can answer that question, but these variables can predict why an employee is satisfied with his or her job, and then you can predict whether or not that employee is likely to be satisfied. Lastly, research has an aim of intervention, making things better. You may have a research question that poses the following question. Is my training intervention really working? Was my training intervention really the cause for the change in employees' behavior? Then you have a research question that focuses on intervention, solving something. So if you have a research question that is descriptive in nature, meaning you would like to answer questions related to describing differences, describing relationships, what do they look like? Then the most appropriate research designs include survey research and quasi-experimental research designs. We'll talk about quasi-experimental research designs a little bit later. So survey research focuses on using standardized questions administered to a large group of employees or individuals so you ask them all the same questions and all those employees will provide you with answers to the questions that you have posed. Based on your survey research, you will then be able to analyze the data to answer questions related to your research aim. So for descriptive purposes, a survey can be used to answer questions related to what are the differences between males and females, whether or not there's a relationship between, let's say, for example, age and job satisfaction, and whether or not there are significant differences in terms of language groups. Description. If your research aim is explanatory in nature, then you would like to answer the questions, but why something is happening? In terms of that, the most appropriate research designs will still be quasi-experimental research, but also survey research. Um, so with explanatory research, you would like to know why did those variables actually explain a particular outcome? Why are some employees more productive than others? Why are some employees more um, satisfied with their jobs than others? So if you would like to explain why something is happening, then you can use those two research designs and the most appropriate uh, statistical techniques to answer questions related to explanation relates to uh, regression analysis or multiple regression analysis where you can identify which of your variables can actually explain change in another variable or which of them provides a significant explanation of change in another variable. But you can also use structural equation modeling. So structural equation modeling is nothing other than providing a theoretical explanation of why certain variables work together to explain an outcome and you test that model using statistical techniques. Explanation. Another aim of research is to predict. Questions include 
Well, when will an employee be more likely to quit his or her job? When is employee going to be successful in his or her job? Whenever you try and answer those types of questions, predicting when something is likely to happen, that's prediction. What are the most appropriate research designs for prediction type studies? Well, again, it is regression analysis and structural equation modeling, because both those two techniques are not just able to explain why employees may be satisfied with their jobs or why they are more satisfied, but they can also predict when something is likely to happen. So we can use, for example, multiple regression to identify which of the variables are significant predictors of job satisfaction. We can even go one step further and figure out which variable is the best predictor of job satisfaction, second best predictor, etc. Structural equation modeling then just provides us with a theoretical basis with some statistical evidence why these variables can actually predict when are these variables going to predict an employee's levels of job satisfaction. Finally, uh, when your research aim is to answer the question, did my intervention work or lead to a particular change in behavior, then you are focusing on intervention type research. If you would like to answer that question, the most appropriate research design will be something like quasi-experimental research design. A quasi-experimental research design at its basic core tries to determine whether or not there was a change from before the intervention to after the intervention. So quasi-experimental research designs will have a pre-test, a before measure, and a post-test, an after measure. And in between the pre-test and the post-test will be your intervention. So if you would like to know whether or not your intervention led to fewer accidents in the organization, you can measure employees' levels of safety awareness before they went on training, provide them with safety training, and then measure their safety awareness after the training, and then compare whether or not there was a significant increase in their safety awareness from before to after the intervention. Ultimately, you can link those results to the number of accidents in the organization to actually show that your intervention worked. So quasi-experimental research designs are ideal to determine or to provide answers to that question of did my training work. So what are some of the most appropriate statistical techniques to use to provide evidence whether or not your intervention worked? Well, one of the techniques is called the paired comparison t-test. Paired meaning you compare the results of the before and after your training intervention. And the comparison then is, well, is there a significant difference from before to after the training intervention? You can also use a latent growth models to determine whether or not employees' behavior changed over time and whether or not that behavioral change was significant. Hence, you need to remember with intervention type research that you take multiple measures over time, longitudinal, because you would like to see whether or not your intervention worked.